JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for August the 13th. I am Harald Mospisuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar rebounded and outperformed all the other major currencies on Thursday and during the Asian session Friday. It gained the most ground versus NZD, GBP and AUD in that order, while it decked out the least gains versus JPY and the Euro. The strengthening of the US dollar and the yen combined with the weakening of the risk-linked Kiwi and Aussie suggests uh, that markets turn to risk off at some point. Looking at the performance of major equity indices though, we see that all but one of major EU bourses closed in the green, with the only exception being UK, UK's FTSE 100, which slid 0.37%. The optimism rolled uh, somewhat over into the US session, with both the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 hitting fresh record highs. However, appetite deteriorated again during the Asian trading today, due to continued worries over the new regulatory crackdowns in China, as well as uh, the fast spreading of uh, the coronavirus Delta variant in, um, in Asia. Now, in yesterday's report, uh, we noted that despite the slowdown in Wednesday CPIs for July, US CPIs for July, we would uh, expect the greenback to the, the greenback's uh, prevailing uptrend to resume soon. Yesterday's rebound proves us uh, correct. Although both headline and underlying inflation pressures uh, slowed uh, in monthly terms, the year-over-year -year rates remained elevated, well above the Fed's objective of two uh, percent. What's more. Yesterday, both the headline and core PPI year-over-year -year rates for July jumped to 7.8% and 6.2% respectively from 7.3% and 5.6%, posting their largest annual increase in more than a decade. With producer, with producer prices feeding into consumer prices, this suggests that uh, the CPIs may have not hit the ceiling yet and may have increased uh, again bets um, uh, bets on a potential tapering announcement by the Fed in September. Having said that, though, that's not set in stone yet. Uh, we could get more clarity on when quantitative easing tapering may begin at the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium scheduled for the end of this month. With all that in mind, we do expect the US dollar to continue drifting north, but equities are unlikely to react in a risk of manner to tapering speculation. Remember yesterday, <coughs> Uh, we noted that the stock indices seem to have continued uh, 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 conquering, uh, conquering new highs, whatever uh, market participants anticipate around uh, the Fed. We saw Wall Street hitting records at times when normalization expectations uh, were brought forth, perhaps as investors were rushing uh, to take advantage low, low interest rates uh, for as long as possible, but we also saw equities drifting north when uh, such expectations were pushed back. This may have been due to the fact that low interest rates for longer mean low borrowing costs uh, for companies for longer, as well as lower present values for longer. Now, as uh, for today's events, the only release worth mentioning on today's agenda is the preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index for August, which is expected to have held steady at 81.2. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in uh, learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm um, looking forward to, ah, excuse me, uh, next week I will be off, so there will be no 
um, uh, weekly market outlook uh, webinar on Monday, neither a daily uh, market uh, review video from Tuesday to Friday. So uh, I will see you again on uh, on the on the 23rd of uh, the month. So have a great uh, week and uh, speak to you again uh, on the 23rd of, uh, of the month. Bye bye. JFT, just fair and direct.